Hello my soccer universe for the final part of my Copa America jersey review uh, just in time before the quarterfinal starts so that's usually a sweet spot for me to make those jersey reviews because by that time you usually have seen all the shirts or at least get an idea of how the other shirts uh, that have not been shown look like. As promised I'm wearing a 2018 shirt which is Uruguay which is the only team that I have a jersey of in this group so makes sense to wear this one uh, in the video link above you can see a little bit more details about it I actually bought this uh, towards the end of the last year's World Cup and I really like this jersey a whole lot it's one of my favorites as of late let's get right to it um, Uruguay is the first team that we're gonna look at and if you compare this jersey that I'm showing you here to the jersey that I'm wearing you can immediately see what the big change is instead of black we have white uh, instead of those dotted form stripes we have now a proper white form stripe and that's basically it a uh, little bit golden more so uh, take out all the black put in white and a little bit of gold and you get the new Uruguay shirt um, which looks a little bit unusual at first especially when you think that it's worn with black socks but this is a classic look it was I think worn at the 87 or 89 Copa America uh, more on the blog post that I wrote about this uh, below I actually should, should have checked that but uh, has nothing really wrong with this shirt except that it might look a little bit uh, weird it reminds me a little bit about the Israel shirt but it's the blue is a little bit darker it of course has La Celeste written on the back which this jersey does not have this is only a <laughs> shortened Uruguay flag same horrible um, Puma font but yeah if I look at it in play it actually looks nice um, I do prefer the um, uh, light blue with just a splash of black to go with the black pants I like that a little bit better but I think overall uh, that there's that is a little bit lighter and it takes off the heaviness of the black shorts that is actually a good uh, overall look and I stay, stay stick with my rating for the blog I mean it's not a uh, very exceptional for that the color is still a little bit too weird I even don't like this one but it's a decent one and seven stars I think is the appropriate rating the away jersey same thing just flip the colors I mean it's white with light blue uh, I think that one actually looks better than the away jersey that was worn at the World Cup I really like the form stripe in light blue uh, you also have the golden puma which kind of uh, blends in in the background it also fits well with the new Uruguay crest with the golden outline and the four golden stars if you don't know for what the four golden stars are these are the two Olympic titles in 24 and 28 this is 1930 this is 1950 FIFA World Cup and those are the only two Olympics where FIFA said yeah this is basically was a pre-World Cup World Cup so you're allowed to wear two stars and therefore Uruguay is one of now three countries that wears four stars just note that as I said it's the home jersey just colorless but it also uses a uh, black uh, font which makes a whole lot of sense I mean having a light blue font you would be able wouldn't be able to read it so same rating as for the home jersey with seven stars let's go to the holders Chile where you know women's world cup that was Chile also so I actually reviewed this jersey in some detail there this is the 2018 Nike template and if uh, Chile would have qualified for the World Cup we would have already seen these jerseys so um, there's nothing too special about that in the women's World Cup jersey review I said this crest is new no it is not uh, I just noted the 2010 World Cup which is the one where I have the Chile uh, shirt most in mind they were using a different crest this is now has been in use for a while as I said it reminds me a little bit of Texas without being Texas but you know the Chile flag does the same thing also note inside this star uh, which has been also used in the logo for 2015 Copa America uh, the crest in the monochromatic version is also featured on the top of the uh, collar on the back and then there's dark blue pa uh, taping nothing exciting uh, but also not bad I actually like it. it's a no-nonsense style uh, which is usually a good thing to have paired with the blue shorts and the white socks uh, it's the classic Chile look that um, 
we come to expect and like at the tournament of course they were also wearing the badge for being the holders so that also makes a whole lot of sense nothing bad about the shirt even the numbers names and numbers i applied well so um i gave it six stars it doesn't excite me as much as for instance the uruguay shirt which has some historic reference but it's a no-nonsense run-of-the-mill your typical chile jersey the away jersey is a completely different story here and you see me struggling with it to give it a proper rating at the women's world cup jersey review uh, i liked it to do something crazy it's probably uh, this zigzaggy uh, triangle pattern is a little bit connected to the star that's on the inside of the crest i liked it at doing something different but it's a little bit almost a little bit too crazy but you know try the away jersey if it stays within the color scheme and this clearly does if you have the red the white and you have the blue so it clearly stays with that color color scheme so for that reason i'm not uh that damning it that much it's also it's trying to do something different it looks a little bit too much like uh, the adidas uh, stuff it's amazing how similar adidas and nike often are in the application of patterns because you know all the adidas patterns were made with either uh, vertical or horizontal stripes <laughs> the same thing we have here um, i gave it seven stars i'm gonna stick with it it is something special something special also applies for the new ecuador jersey at first you know it's a little bit uh hard to get used to uh you know because you expect an entirely uh yellow jersey with uh, some red and blue accents and now we have uh basically the, the top is also in navy and then it kind of has a zigzaggy wifi pattern typically 2018 made out of work of slanted <laughs> lines uh that give it a little bit more structure uh which I think this is probably some traditional uh, cloth pattern that should this should reference. Uh, at least that's what I uh, assume. It doesn't look that bad, with one exception. Uh, it should also extend to the back, which it unfortunately does not. The back is just plain yellow. There's also this form strap here. So this kind of, to me, devalues the pattern. Um, at least you don't need to get the same fancy um, patterning here but at least have the dark blue also go on the back maybe even have it contain the name of the players i think this is my uh, biggest gripe with this jersey I, I really like the idea i don't mind that the sleeves are yellow would have liked that it would extend down the sleeves of course but this is not happening these days i really like the color i also like the sleeve cuffs with uh that kind of complete the ecuadorian flag uh there's a condor on the uh, crest and note that this is a crest that doesn't have a soccer ball so that's usually scores high with me marathon did a nice job but i think with a little bit more thought they could have made an absolute excellent jersey this is just merely a good jersey and i know i'm dishing out a lot of the same grades uh in this video but i think this has to be a six star ah seven star let's give it seven stars i think it deserves the seven stars because it's all overall nice look and also looks good in match the away jersey is a mixed bag for me you know i like navy blue shirts and this is of course navy blue however uh to me it misses a little bit the point uh nam namely incorporating the um, national colors there should be some red there should be some uh yellow in there and we only get this on the inside color therefore it's just navy blue with black and royal blue on the collar and the sleeve cuffs we have a monochromatic crest i think this monochromatic crest is a little bit too much uh if here was the full color color crest this would pop and give this uh shirt some vibrancy in a way all the vibrancy is taken out of this shirt if you make the collar in uh, red and yellow and also the sleeve cuffs i think you would have a really great looking shirt the shade is also maybe a little bit too steely for my liking so while it's navy blue i think there are a few things that i just dislike too much in that and that's therefore i'm only gonna go with five stars here it's not bad but it's also not exciting to me uh the only ecuadorian flag we see is on the back side of the collar so 
all not that great. And then the final team is the guest team, Japan, where we have up there already an Asian Cup review and we also had it at the Women's World Cup where uh, the red was replaced with pink. So you have both of these. Uh, I linked up to the Asian and a little bit later you get the link for uh, the Women's World Cup. This jersey is growing on me. Uh, it's so weird. It is dark blue and it has this uh, white and black specks with kind of should invoke a samurai un uniform. I actually like the red outline. I wish that maybe the specks would also continue onto the sleeves. But it's a really nice jersey overall, especially when I see it in play. Even though that, um, as you see, the color is a little bit darker blue and the short shorts also have this little darker blue, which probably is this black specks and maybe it's a darker blue. Uh, there is something about this jersey that I absolutely love. And I initially, I think, gave it six stars, but um, no, this is a seven star jersey. It's, is it the best Japan jersey ever? No. Is it a, a good looking one? If you see it in play, darn yes, it is. Therefore, I upgraded this one, I think, already the Asian Cup review. And I'll stick with that. Seven stars. This jersey is definitely growing on me. Just lose the Japanese flag on the front. And the final jersey we look at it has not been growing on me at all. Even worse, it has been showing now at the Copa America twice. Yes, it's just a white jersey, a uh, light gray jer jersey, so there maybe not, nothing wrong. But I think there's everything wrong with that. It is just so boring. And what bores me the most is, is the patterning that goes over the shoulder. It should evoke the 92 Adidas equipment style. That doesn't do anything, you barely see it. If that was in red or even probably even better in blue, we could be talking. Then, you know, red numbers, I don't know. For me, Japan is so um, connected with blue these days. I know white and red are the national colors. So maybe I can forgive that, but I would put some blue in there. If that was the jersey without the pattern, we had just here the, like this Uruguay shirt has the sun, if we would have here the red disc to make a Japan flag, I would be all for it. This way, no. I keep, but this is the, the most criticized church jersey on my part for the last year roughly. Two stars. It's just way too boring. And there you have it. All the jerseys for the Copa America. What's next? Africa Cup of Nations jersey review. I probably will do a videos on the few uh, Copa America jerseys in the meantime because I wanna wait until the second match day of the Africa Cup of Nations does finish. I have not quite decided. I mean, it's uh, these days I'm putting out between uh, two to four videos, and I think I wanna keep it. You know, the closer I keep it to two, the saner I am. Uh, but with three competitions going on concurrently, what can I do? And then I don't want to put out another jersey video. But let's see how it will go when things calm down a little bit. For Fortunately, we're getting in the latter stages of Copa America and the Women's World Cup. So uh, I will have maybe a little bit more time for some jersey stuff and, you know, every Cup of Nations. That will be fun. But as I said, I'm waiting usually second match day when I have seen most of the jerseys of at least the first two groups that I have seen both jerseys and then uh, I can start and maybe get some more jerseys as um, the days progress. Well, I will take off this jersey now. I've been wearing it for the length of this video and probably it will be is already in need for washing because it's really 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 hot in here. But hey, if I open the window, which I was contemplating, I'll be eaten by mosquitoes uh, all, all along, which is also not that, that much fun. Anyway, let me know how you like the jerseys uh, in this video, whether you agree with my ratings, whether you think I should rate them higher, I should rate them lower, um, you know, anything welcome, drop a comment below. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos of this type and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.